Hi, Keith. Great to do some work with you again today on stack and tilt swing pattern. Uh, first of all, if we take a little look at you down the line at the start of your session, the biggest issue we had today was that even though you take the club back nicely, tracing the circle, if we look at your halfway back, left arm in, across the chest as suggested. However, as we start down, there's a tendency to clear a little bit. You're going to see the right knee shoot forward. And as a result, we can see there as we're halfway down, the left arm has now come off the circle. This is going to result in a swing across the ball to the left, imparting left to right spin on the golf ball. Remember what we discussed, the ball is going to turn away from the path of the golf club. So we're just starting the downswing a little bit incorrectly, and as a result, we're coming off the circle. What we want to try and do is make sure, if we look at Grant White here on the bottom right, we want to make sure that our relationship or body weight position in relation to the ball is correct in the downswing. All the other pieces are irrelevant if we don't control this. And we can see here that in his downswing, Grant's going to move his centre further forward than it was at address. And as a result, the circle that he's swinging in has now moved forward as well. And you can see there that that means he's going to be attacking the ball from the inside. So he's going to make sure that that club going back on the inside remains on the inside. So what we're saying here is that if the weight moves back, the centre moves back with it and the swing is more to the left. So what we've done here on the top right is we've straightened the right leg at set up. We've placed a little bit more weight on your left side. That's going to do a couple of things. It's going to allow you to get the club working back nicely inside. We can see there again at that halfway point, left arm in across the chest. Now with the right leg being straight, it's not going to allow that right knee to shoot out as much in the downswing. So we can see now as we start down, although it's not perfect, the left arm is much more in across the chest than it was at the same place in your original swing. As a result, we're able to hit out at the ball more as we come through. You can see though the arms don't work across the body quite as much. And once we get used to that, we can start to impart some right to left spin on it. So really we're looking at improving your ability to keep the arms on the circle and to continue to hit out at the golf ball. Certainly towards the end of your session you hit some great shots and judging by the shots I saw you hit as I was wandering up and down the range things were progressing nicely uh, after you left me as well. Good luck with it, have a great holiday and I'll see you in a few weeks time. Well done.